Hey everybody, welcome back here to A Place to Heal. Okay, so today I want to talk to you guys about olive leaf. I know it's been around forever and people just kind of ignore it. And, you know, there's all these new supplements that are coming into play and olive leaf kind of is the forgotten herb. Okay, but I want to talk to you guys about how important olive leaf is. There are always two two herbs that I always keep in my cupboards and that's olive leaf and oregano. And there's a reason for that because I can go to those two no matter what. So if you are experiencing any gut issues, leaky gut, IBS, whatever, first of all, you've got to direct towards your diet. You've got to focus on your diet because if you're having these issues, your body is telling you something something that you're giving me is not okay right so there's a lot of people that will eat wheat and they're and they're like yeah i have i eat a lot of bread um and they're having a lot of issues and they don't realize that every time they eat that bread their body is sitting there telling me i can't i can't handle this please don't give it to me anymore okay so that's number one so always look at your diet first if you're having bloating if you're having indigestion, if you're having, you know, a lot of gas fermentation, something you're eating is not okay. And it usually happens within the last three hours. You don't have to go back days. You know, some people go, well, I ate that spinach or, you know, that whatever, that mayonnaise sandwich three days ago. No, three hours ago, not three days ago. Nothing, your body doesn't care about three days ago. <laughs> it would have happened right away. It, it lets you know right away. All right. So olive leaf. Olive leaf is, I don't care if you get it in pill form. I sell it on my website as a tincture. I take it as a tincture. Does not matter. I've done olive leaf before. Olive leaf is exceptional for digestion, is exceptional for your liver. And it's great for your, because it, it helps with your skin, right? So it gets into your liver. It will clean out your skin. So it's great for that. It helps with blood pressure. Blood pressure, it's exceptional to lower blood pressure. So usually people who have lower, uh, are on the lower side of blood pressure have to be a little bit more careful with it. Okay. But what I love is it's antiviral, antibacterial. So if you have something like SIBO or E. coli or something like that, what you want to do is you want to take olive leaf, it's a matter of 500 milligrams, and you want to take berberine. Okay. So what these two do together is that it starts breaking up all the bacteria in your gut and it starts fixing your digestive system. The only problem is this one, olive leaf, you can take till doomsday. It's not going to build up in your system. It does not clash with any medications. Um, it does not build up. You can take... I've taken it on and off for 25 years. And sometimes I've taken it for like three, five, six months at a time. Okay. Berberine, however, you only want to take for two months because here's what happens when you put these two together. Okay. And it doesn't have to be these brands, guys. It just, it doesn't. I don't care what olive leaf you get at lo as long as it's 500 milligrams. And I don't care what berberine you get as long as it's between 500 to 1000 milligrams. Okay. It does not matter. Choose your brand. Okay. So what you want to do is once you put them together, it starts killing bacteria. After two months, it starts even killing the good bacteria because it's done killing all the bad bacteria. So it starts killing even the good bacteria. So you do not want to use these. You can continue with the olive leaf. Do not continue with the berberine after two months. Okay. So after two months, get off of it for a while. Let your gut rest. See how it's doing. Give it a month or two. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and put them together again for another 30 days. All right. So these are also great for ear infections, um, for anything dental because it's in this area. Okay. Um, MRSA, like I said, MRSA, E. coli, any of that, because it's all bacterial. If you have Crohn's, if you have IBS, if you have irritable, but, uh, 
irritable gut or an imbalanced gut or leaky gut or any of that stuff. Okay. But like I said, long term, no side effects. Now, another great thing about this is, um, you know, herpes has just become something that everybody should be talking about because it's such an epidemic now that I'd say 98% of the population has it. Okay. So when you're dealing with cold sores, the minute you feel that little tingle coming on, you can actually get on this mixed with L-lysine, put them together. And at that point, it will speed up the healing. You don't have to spend like a lot of money on that Abriva or stuff. You can actually put those two together and it will heal it like within days. I mean, it's fast, fast, fast. Okay. If you want to take olive leaf on a continuous basis, you don't want to stop. It's perfectly okay. You don't have to stop. That's the great thing about olive leaf. So you want to take at least 1,000. This one is 500. 1,000 milligrams every single day. And it actually keeps viruses at bay. So um, you won't have the herpes breakouts. And if you do, just up the pills a little bit to get rid of it a lot sooner. Sometimes, you know, the the virus is so bad and the stress in your life is so bad that it will allow that virus to come through. And all you got to do is just up, up the dosage a little bit. Instead of taking that toxic stuff, um, you know, every time you have a herpes breakout or, you know, to prevent it. So this is a great preventative for that. All right. So there you go. So herpes outbreaks, olive leaf and L-lysine. Okay. Gut issues, SIBO, E. coli, UTIs, any of that stuff, olive leaf and berberine. All right. There you go. Stay happy. Stay healthy. It's pretty simple. You just want to make sure you do it naturally. Allow your body to come forward and do the healing for you because Taking all those prescription medications, one, you're damaging your liver because your liver does not understand synthetic and you're damaging your kidneys because kidneys don't understand synthetic. And number two, you, the, all these medications are meant temporary, right? It's supposed to help you until you get the cure. You're never supposed to be on them long term because it does affect your health. All right. There you go. See you next time.